Since 1998, I have worked hard to bring to public attention the environmental, health, and public safety risks associated with nuclear power in this state. I happen to be sitting near a beach in Fairfield County in Bridgeport that is within 50 miles of the Indian Point nuclear power plant across Connecticut's border in New York State. And I am within about 70 miles of the Millstone nuclear power plant near New London at the far eastern side of Connecticut. These twin nuclear menaces must be shut down. They are a public health nuisance. Every minute they operate, they release deadly poisons to our air and water. They are a constant threat to our health, safety, and well-being. And we don't need them. Much of the electricity they generate is wasted. If we would only begin to conserve, we could shut down Millstone and Indian Point without fear of brownout or blackout. Let us remember that in 1996, Connecticut had four operating nuclear power plants, three at Millstone and one in East Haddam on the Connecticut River. All four were shut down for two years, beginning in 1996, because of reckless and illegal operating practices and because nuclear whistleblowers risked their jobs and their livelihood to protect us by exposing these conditions. During the two-year nuclear shutdown, we did not experience a single brownout or blackout in the state. We must radically reduce our energy consumption and accelerate development of clean sources of renewable energy. Connecticut must apply its brain power to develop a non-nuclear, non-fossil fuel energy policy. It is simply irresponsible and unforgivable that public building continues based on myths of the 1950s of inexhaustible resources, we must mandate conservation-driven construction. The notorious nukes are broken down reminders of a shameful time in our history when we gave up our rights to clean air and clean water and clean government to the corporate weapons-related nuclear industry that operates them recklessly for profit with virtually no responsible government oversight. We must stop this nuclear madness right here in Connecticut. We cannot assume to project moral leadership in the world to eliminate nuclear weapons and make progress toward a saner world when we day after day in Connecticut tolerate these twin threats to our own extinction.